It's nearly been an entire year since Conor McGregor gruesomely and tragically broke his leg in his trilogy bout against Dustin Poirier last July. In that time, Conor McGregor has put on a massive amount of muscle. This post right here by More Plates and More Dates on Instagram puts it very well into perspective. George Masdival has called out Conor McGregor for using steroids. Now, this is probably just George Masdival's way of trying to get Conor's attention to possibly fight George Masdival in the future. Um, George Masdival is a little bit out of Conor McGregor's weight class. We know that the lightweight division has a vacant belt spot because Charles Oliveira missed his weight in his last UFC fight, therefore vacating and voiding that fight as a title fight. We know that Dana White has a love affair with Conor McGregor, so this would make perfect sense for Conor McGregor's comeback to be in that lightweight title fight, most likely against Michael Chandler. But George Masdevall, after his loss against Colby Covington, is trying to stay relevant and in the limelight and looking for his next fight opponent. More Plates, More Dates says, George Masdevall has accused Conor McGregor of taking steroids. Conor's trader claimed that he's packed on 35 pounds of muscle in six months, which... I don't think is even humanly possible. It doesn't look like Conor McGregor has packed on 35 pounds of muscle. Uh, you know, maybe 10 to 15 pounds of muscle. There are also these pictures circulating of Conor McGregor's supposed side effects. You can see that they've highlighted this bald spot, which could be some male pattern baldness sped up by the use of steroids, some stomach bruises most likely caused by shooting up human growth hormone. Also, you can see the clear size and definition of Conor McGregor's back right here. There are more pictures on this slide. George Masdevall says, he knows that I'm the man who hits hard and that I come to kill. I do not come to hug in the cage. I'm going to give everything inside me to kill him. I have a little size, although now he's shooting up and putting steroids and all kinds of things in his body. But he is still a little boy. I would love to fight at 170 pounds, but I don't wait for anyone. If he wants to do it, I'll break his face. So Conor McGregor has fought up in his lifetime when he fought in his two fights against Nate Diaz. But I think Conor McGregor has something more in mind. He doesn't just want to fight to fight. He wants to redeem himself and fight for a championship belt. Which is why I think personally he's going to try to cut down on some weight fight in that lightweight division, most likely either against Charles uh, Oliveira or Michael Chandler. But as you can see here, some more steroid side effects, possibly from previous steroid use, just the androgen in his shoulders, you know, that vein popping out. But steroids and performance enhancing drugs are no stranger to the fight game. Let's take a look at this picture of Israel Adesanya a few fights ago, and he was getting heavily accused of shooting up testosterone. Gynecomastia is a very popular and easy way to tell that somebody is having estrogenic side effects from using testosterone. As you can see here, his left tit is very swollen, very swollen. Um, this is usually caused by high estrogen conversion uh, when taking testosterone. So more UFC fighters that have been accused of taking testosterone. Do you think that Conor McGregor's recent blow up in muscle mass and size is due to steroids, testosterone compounds, and HGH? Or do you think he's just putting in a lot of hard work? Or it could be both. Lots of hard work while also getting the extra help from taking testosterone. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. My name is Trevor. I also go by Fear the Beardo. If you like this video, feel free to check out my personal YouTube channel, Fear the Beardo. But with all that said, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Share this video with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And we'll talk to you again soon.